More than 100,000 people in Las Vegas alone are still out of work. We sit down with theater's director about the challenges still facing the agency and her advice for anyone who's been out of work this whole time. We're still missing 150,000 jobs in Las Vegas. One year ago, Nevada had the highest unemployment in the country. Worse, one in three people in the Las Vegas metro were out of work. It's shrunk since to 10 percent. More than 100,000 people in the Las Vegas Valley still do not have a job. This agency has uh, a really incredibly dedicated team. We've made a lot of strides in catching up on backlog. We still have a long way to go. We sat down with theater director Elisa Caferrata. She was appointed by Governor Sisolak late summer, the third director in 2020, along with a strike force led by Barbara Buckley to tackle the immense backlog of claims from traditional unemployment and pandemic unemployment assistance. And after a class action lawsuit on behalf of independent contractors, hundreds of workers from Caferrata's welfare department and retired theater employees were brought on. Since this week in March last year, more than 878,000 initial claims have been filed for UI and more than a million in PUA. Caferrata says now if your case is simple, you can get funds in two weeks. There's still a backlog of complicated cases, 40,000 claims in UI from the fall and 30,000 in PUA that need a team of adjudicators. It's been good to see Congress extend these programs, but every time they've done it, it's required new computer programming for us. That requires us to go in and look at every single week of every single claim and sort of readjust. It, it's very time consuming. It seems like it should be easy, but it's not. Some with more complex unemployment claims are still waiting for December's federal unemployment benefits passed by Congress. Caferrata says Dieter is looking to federal funding to update the outdated tech system so the agency can adapt every time Congress pivots and also eventually merge UI and PUA. We're doing what we can to speed up the process in, in all the different places we have folks waiting. The UI site will go offline temporarily from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. to work on tech issues, a search for different vendors for different payment options like direct deposit. Sometime this year, there's hope to reopen Dieter and Workforce Connection Office. People need to start thinking about, uh, is my job coming back or do I need to retrain? Caferrata believes as Vegas and the country reopens and jobs come back, this will be the last federal package to help the unemployed. Before benefits expire in September, Caferrata says plan ahead now. It's so discouraging to apply for hundreds of jobs and not get a response. There might be some supports for um for paying for classes or trainings if that is sort of the best path for you to get reemployed. 